Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alpha here, and today I'm tackling the Storm Dragon of the Holy Peak. This is 3DO's dungeon in the dungeon challenge that's, uh, dungeon challenge, the dragon challenge that's going on right now. Um, it's a fairly quick run. I just kind of honestly stomp through it with Shiho Dragon. Um, the first uh, maybe five floors or six floors, uh, yeah, five floors, they're all garbage floors. Now these guys, they're um, a little tough in that you don't want to get hit by them. They hit for a decent amount if you don't have any sort of HP multiplier. But uh, you'll see right here, I mean, I'm left with no uh, fire orbs to make any matches with. So I just, you know, try and get by with some dark and blue TPAs. And it's enough to break the defense on the, the King Dragon, but the, the Pingdra is still there. Um, and actually try and stall on this guy because he got a two turn countdown, but in the end it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I kind of accidentally make some matches uh, with a little skyfall. There we go. Um, so he goes by the wayside. And I mean, it's really a straightforward dungeon. It's almost like a uh, King of the Gods in that respect where you're dealing with a bunch of trash floors. These are a lot more dangerous trash floors if you're not uh, comboing high enough to at least generate some more orbs and you don't have any fast orb changers, you could uh, find yourself in a bit of danger. But other than that, you know, everything should be pretty much one shot in here. Whether or not you're going with someone that's extremely powerful like Shiva Dragon or just any other standard farming lead. I mean, I don't think you need a high multiplier lead to clear all this stuff out. Of course, when you get to 3D, it's a little bit of a different story. He has got, uh, he's got 5 million HP. But if he is, I mean, if, if you're running it with a fire team, you know, you only have to do half that damage. So two and a half million, it's not that, not that bad in, in today's game. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, stomping through this. I did this the other day. Um, I just tried it. Uh, I, I didn't try it blind, you know. I, I threw Lilith in there for the next stage. Um... But, I mean, there's really not much to look up. It's, you know, garbage floors, the Tamaja floor, and then 3 dia So, there we go. That clears out the last of the garbage floors. And on to the Tamaja floor. So, he's going to bind one card. And that was um, actually not the one card I didn't want him to bind. The one card I didn't want him to bind is uh, Yamasu Takaru because he's the one that can unbind. So, if I had a key sub-bind... Um, you know, such as him, uh, who has, you know, he has Rose and all that kind of stuff. He's a decent part of the attack. Um, that would suck. But since you're on a two-turn countdown, and I actually had hearts on the board there, you saw for a second I was about to pop his skill, and I was like, wait a second, I've got a bunch of hearts. Um, pop those, and we're good to go. Um, use that poison, and on to Theridia. Go away. Okay, so, and this guy, you know, because I, I got this far without using any of my skills, without really getting into any danger, um, I just go with my, uh, the big kaboom move, which is Erd and uh, Sonata Yukimura, turn that into a row, and I thought I was going to uh, capture another match at the bottom, and I, just, I, I realized I messed that up at the last second, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, going against a green element with that big of an attack, you know, that, that's going to get him every time. So that was the Storm Dragon of the Holy Peak. Uh, pretty simple run. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.